Hey creators, today I wanted to sit down and show you this really simple and easy video editor that I have recently discovered. This is Flex Clip. If you don't know me, I go by Koki Pixel. I create tip and tutorial videos to help creators with their content creation journeys. My goal is to help you plan your content, avoid burnout, and create a balance in your life while creating. So we're just gonna get straight in, and this is Flex Clip. I'm gonna tell you about it, and we're going to go for it together. So what is Flex Clip? So Flex Clip is a video maker that makes making amazing videos easy. Flex Clip has loads of templates and also different tools tools that not a lot of other video editors have. You can edit for free, use trendy templates, animate your videos, and even use stock media. So they have animated text, overlays, widgets, logos, and other animated effects. So this is really cool if you want to do some videos with animated text or other animated effects, but you don't know how to animate, which I do not. So I can't wait to try this out. Yeah, they have millions of royalty-free stock media, which is really handy when you don't have the right B-roll or you want to add B-roll, but you just don't want to film any perfect. It's great for businesses as well. So we're going to try out the video editor today. So before we jump in, let me guys show you the pricing. Okay, so you can try this for free. There is a free option where you don't get the highest quality, but you can make a maximum of 12 projects. You can use at least one stock video per project and your video length can be up to one minute. You can easily try this and see if you like it before you commit to paying for it. A monthly cost would be $9.99 for basic, $20 for plus and 30 for a business. And it increases the quality. You can get rid of the flex clip intro. The length of your video goes up depending on how much you pay monthly. You can save unlimited projects online. So you do not need to use up your computer space for saving. You can add custom watermarks. And when you obviously pay annually, you will save yearly. So I currently have the business version, I believe. I got contacted to make a video about Flex Clip. I really like the look of Flex Clip, so I agreed. So I'm gonna log in quickly and I can show you guys what it looks like. So when you log into Flex Clip, once you have a account created, whether that's free or paid, this is what it will look like. So this is your home. You can search for templates here. If you hover over a template, it will play. This reminds me a lot of Canva, where you use templates to start so I really like that there is so many templates they're also based on whether you want to create for example a YouTube video a Facebook ad an Instagram reel they have all the dimensions already done for you and the templates so you just have to click one and then edit it which will save so much time and they also have different themes so if you want to make someone like a birthday video or you want to make a holiday themed video these are really good if you are into creating on social media creating YouTube videos so that's it there's a huge list there's business travel education or wedding and these are just templates these are just a guideline you can completely create whatever you like from starting with a template or even starting from scratch let me just quickly show you guys there is a bunch of stock video when you click here these are grouped into themes but you can easily search so say if i wanted um some cats <laughs> there's so many cute cat footages footage cat footages cat footage i wonder if they have video game stock footage they're not gonna have any like copyright uh stock footage playing video games hey see if you wanted to make a video about i don't know some advice for people who want to make gaming videos for example you can easily come and get some stock footage for your youtube videos so let's say I wanted this one, use video. It's going to put it on the timeline. That's cool. So this is actually a way of creating a project is going into a template or a stock footage thing to start off with. But let me exit. Up the top will be your projects that you've started. I just have a few untitled ones so I haven't actually explored it properly yet. Uh, yeah, so you can create by templates or start from scratch. You create by templates. You go and select a template first or start from scratch. You can choose to do a storyboard mode or a timeline mode. 
depends which one you prefer. I think if I was gonna actually edit a YouTube video, I'd go timeline mode, which is beta. And then storyboard mode, if it was more of a shorter video, like if I was making something for Instagram or like an ad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the timeline mode. Welcome, view Flex Clip Pro 60 seconds quick guide. Oh, so it gives you a guide on how to do everything. <laughs> Basically you drag and drop your clips and your audio onto the timeline and you can easily edit it. Okay, so this is what the Flex Clip video editor looks like. Let me guide you through some of the options. Up here you can name your project. I don't really have any projects I can actually edit right now. Or do I? Let me insert a clip. Yeah, so you can insert stock media or you can upload your own local files. Here's a clip from my stream I downloaded recently. It's currently syncing. While it's syncing, there's this option to add a screen recording or you can even record your webcam, which is pretty handy. So while that syncs, let me show you guys the different elements. There is text elements, so you can add basic text, but you can also add these animated texts, which I'm excited for, I don't know about you, but I don't know how to make these myself. So I really want to be able to incorporate them into my video creations. There's overlays, these are really cool. Then we have elements. This is why this actually reminds me of Canva. So you can add, I don't know, a subscribe, a reminder for them to follow you in social media. There's arrows, those are handy. There's loads of different things, emojis, all pride. Oh, and they're all animated. Not all of them, but loads of them are animated. I love that. Oh my God, I'm gonna have so much fun editing once I start using this. Oh, these are really cool. These uh, make it look like a, a recording like screen and a click. Oh, those are so handy. Okay, <laughs> I'm just getting super excited about all these elements. There's um, backgrounds, which you can use as well. So many different things. There's transitions, simple transitions, or you can even see the transition if you um, highlight over it. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Zoom. This is really cool. You can add a watermark if you do have one of the accounts that lets you add a watermark. So that's handy. And then you can change the ratio of the screen. So this would be, you know, your normal landscape, YouTube video, 1080p. You can make it square for Instagram. You can make it the size of a phone for TikTok, Instagram stories, Instagram reels. You can make it like a movie quality, which is widescreen and there is is another size which is mostly used for Facebook and Instagram which is 4x5 that's the size I like to upload my Instagram photos by the way okay let's get back into media this is done so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it onto my timeline perfect how do you edit this I think it's gonna be really simple we can crop it that is so handy so imagine I had two of the same videos and then I decided to crop my camera on one of them Okay, let me do this properly. So imagine you had two of the same and you just stack them on top of each other. What you could do is you could crop your webcam on one of them, I love that. So if you do the crop, oh my God, you can even do like a circle crop. Wait, can I make it a circle? Okay, so imagine that. And then imagine I zoom in on the background and look. I have a separate webcam as well. I love this. Okay, what do I do with the audio? Can I mute the audio one? Cause that would be really handy. I can. Okay, so if I mute the audio on the background, I don't need it on both. And then I can move my face. So if I go back for the first clips, I could have it in one position and then move it over there. So you can do a split it will split the clips, so this is gonna be different. And then if I go back to here, I wanna have my camera there. Hit play. And look, now I've switched places. Oh my God, this is such an easy video editor. What else can you do? So you can easily zoom in on whichever one selected, which is really cool. <laughs> but there's transform options, so you can rotate, flip if you need to. I showed you how to crop. You can change the opacity, which is always handy. There's different filters. 
Maybe I'll put a filter on my face. Black and white, maybe, who knows? You can also adjust the way your video looks, exposure, brightness, and all that stuff. You can also adjust the speed. This is so handy. So can I like select two clips at once and do that? Probably not. What else can you do? Fit to screen. Oh, it fits the whole timeline to the screen. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna crop this. Oh, I can zoom in. I'm gonna split them both there. No. Split them both there. Why not? Let me drag that there. I'm gonna get rid of the end bits. All I'm doing is selecting and clicking delete on my keyboard. You can also drag and drop music. So let's do that as well. Just gonna use some Harry's Heller music. Drag and drop that onto my timeline. I can select it and adjust the volume here. <gasps> Ooh, you can make it fade in and out. Oh yes, fade in and out. I'm gonna crop it where the video ends. So you can add this element if you want. If I wanted, I could add like these love hearts every single time the llama, I don't know, made a noise. That's cute. You can add an arrow. Okay, let's check out the animated text. Let's just say I wanted to add subtitles to the whole thing. Let me get rid of this element. So what you do is you double click it text here so if you wanted to make for example a twitch clip which is kind of what i'm doing you can add the text so that's just a quick example of how you can use these different effects so imagine i wanted to add a watermark this is great so i could like watermark every single one of my videos with like a logo or text so that no one can steal my content, <laughs> basically. Perfect. You can also choose where it goes. Nice, I love it. That is the video editor. Oh yeah, if you want to export, you can click go export. And then obviously if you've got the right account, you can do 1080p or 720, but the default would be 480. So I can go next and then you just export video and it should be downloaded in a few minutes. It does say to please stay at this page for a faster export process. Okay, so it's finished exporting and this is what you see when it's finished. It's downloaded and you can also upload to Dropbox and share it straight away or share your video to YouTube or continue editing. So those are the options. Let's go into the pros and the cons. Are. Pro number one, you have a wide variety of templates and stock photos, which is just so good if you want something really simple to start with to edit because sometimes you just need something in order to start creating and you can get inspiration and ideas on different ways to lay out your video creations. Pro number two, I love these overlays. I love these elements. And I really do like the Texans as well. I like these animations because it's really hard to find animations like this that are built in. I really like that. I thought of a con, which is something that I personally don't like. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I would like to be able to see the audio spikes for this clip, for example, but I can't see them. Instead of just having music down here, I want to be able to see my voice so that I can crop it easier <laughs> instead of just going by what I can hear and see in the video. That's a personal preference of mine. Okay, so if you did have separate audio, you can easily drag it onto the timeline. Yes, you can. So I kind of prefer having the audio on a timeline because you can literally go to wherever the audio is and just like trim it. I'm used to editing in Premiere Pro, so for me, the controls aren't as complex as I would like. I would like them slightly more complex, but this is why this is titled as a simple video editor. This is definitely a great pro that you can easily adjust your video to different dimension sizes. Obviously, you don't have to edit and tweak it a bit, but it does help you do most of the work which is really handy and then the last con is just the fact that it's a little bit slow when you want to upload your videos footage or whatever local files to it because it's obviously online this is an online editor and exporting does take a bit long but 
just, you know, I usually export a video and I leave the computer anyway. Nothing wrong with that. That's just um, something I've noticed. I think another good pro that I do have to mention is the fact that this has good tutorials like they give you video editing and recording and conversion tutorials they've got so much helpful information um for content creators on this as well so that's really good oh yeah so anything you um upload which is a pro anything you upload is going to be saved in your cloud storage if you have one of the accounts with cloud storage that's really handy so you don't have to re-upload those clips again if you want to reuse them one thing I think I should have shown you guys also is the other option which is the the slide version instead of like the timeline version oh that's so cool so you can drop and like drag and drop things and then you can edit like the clip however long you want the clip to be oh that's handy oh, so much easier than timeline version yeah do that and then trim video and it only inserts the trimmed part Okay, so yeah, the storyboard mode. If you guys wanna try it out this for free, I definitely recommend to use storyboard mode over the timeline mode, just because it's a lot simpler and less fiddly. That is it, that is Flex Clip. I honestly think you guys should try this out for free if you are at all interested in um some sort of other video editor i'm currently using premiere pro but i like this because it's really simple and there's text and overlays and elements and there's so many templates in stock footage i feel like this is going to save me a lot of time don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video so that youtube knows you like it and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next video you can watch one that I suggest somewhere on the screen. Okay, bye.